So let's introduce these projective spaces. I want to start with a quote by Washington. We all know that parallel lines meet at infinity. This is of course a sentence that only a mathematician can come up with. But what do we mean? What does he mean by that? Well, if you look at a photograph of two parallel lines, for example these tracks here, you know that those are parallel, so they will never meet, but in from this perspective, if you look at them, they actually seem to get closer to one another. They seem to get closer to each other. But no matter how high rest the photo is, and how much you zoom in, they never seem to meet. So they seem to get closer to each other, but not meet. So where do they meet when they get closer to each other? Well, some way to look at it is to say they will meet at infinity. So projective geometry comes from mathematicians that wanted to understand the mathematics behind perspectives in paintings. A German term is also Fluchtpunkt, Perspektive. So there's one point that everything seems to be pointed at. And So, for a half-in plane, so we are on one plane, on one Ebene, and the we have coordinates x and y, right, in this plane. So, now for this plane we can define a projective space, uh, introducing the z-coordinate with an equivalence relation. So an equivalence relation means that all points that fulfill these relations are considered equivalent within the projective space. So the equivalence relation is that A, B and C are equivalent if there exists a lambda, a number, that when multiplied with the terms here they form the original term. So, in essence, this point is just a scaled version of this point. So, probably I've lost you by now and you don't know what the hell this equivalence relation is supposed to say. Well, we can try to look at it a bit more geometrically. So, the equivalence relation says that all points that are on the same line that goes through the origin are considered equivalent in the projective space. So here, this line, all points in the projective space, x, y, and z, that lie on this line going through the origin are considered equivalent in our equivalence relation. So now we can just put the plane at z equals 1 for example, so yeah, there's a plane at even now at z1. Since we have this equivalence relation, we can say that every line that crosses the plane has a representative on this plane, right? So all points on this line are equivalent so this point that is on the line and on the plane is equivalent to all the other points. And every line has a representative, uh, every equivalence class has a representative on the plane. The only points or lines that don't have a equivalent on, the pl on this plane are the ones that are parallel to the plane. So, they are either parallel to the z-axis or the y-axis, or go uh, with the z equals zero. So, these down here, they don't have a representative in the plane. And why this is important, we'll see in the next video.